So if you do a lot of 3D printing like I do, eventually you're going to have problems and misprints. Um, here's the Wally, uh, full-size Wally robot that I'm making right now. So here's a ball and socket piece um, that came out of the printer. And you can see right there uh, I had a slight misprint on the ball. So I've taken it apart and there's the problem area. Problem with that is uh, this piece can't pivot smoothly in there if it's all chewed up like that. So the device I'm going to use is what's called a 3D pen. Um, it's pretty simple. This is the speed. Uh, this is the temperature setting. And then this is to um, feed more filament in or more filament out. Um, it uses a standard uh, 3D printer filament. So in this case, I'm using the exact same filament that I used to print that piece. So you just push the button. Starts to the temp will start to come up. There it is. So when you push the button, it starts to feed that through. And you got a glove. Shut it off. Clean off the end. Careful because it's hot. So we're ready to go. So here's our piece start to liberally fill the area build it up really good there we are maybe a little more right there Good to go. I like to usually pat it down a bit just to make sure it's worked in there really well. So if you're needing a smooth finish, um, you can always use a soldering iron if it's a lot of finish work, but since this is just going to be a ball and socket, I'll skip that. So then uh, shape it with a rough rasp get a rough shape. Okay, once you have the rough shape down, see that focus, 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 then you would take a finer file and, and file the shape. Finish off with some sandpaper and